Good morning. Welcome to the morning chat where I tell you what's on my mind in the morning time. Hey, hey, hey. I just knew I was going to sleep in late because I was up at three o'clock this morning. You know, sometimes I wake up at that hour and I couldn't go back to sleep. I was washing dishes and doing all kinds of stuff around the house. And then I went, took a, a nap because that's the what it, it, it was. And I woke up, oh Lord. It's sad. I should be, you know, this week I've been doing pretty good about, um, I've been doing pretty good about getting up and coming on here live on Instagram around 7, 7.15, getting out of here about 7.45, you know, getting out before 8 o'clock. I was been doing, I've been doing good about it but this morning i was afraid that i was going to well i was preparing not afraid i was never afraid but i was preparing to end up uh going overtime Ooh, burr, 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 burr. morning announcements morning announcements i will be interviewing johnny rico the new hip-hop artist on the street he just dropped his a uh, new album on all streaming platforms called Far Feeling. My favorite song is Broken Pieces. Um, but I was listening to the whole um, album of music and it's all right. It's all right. It's all right with me. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all need to go and get it, stream it, go download the, the um, on SoundCloud, uh, Spotify, YouTube Music, Child, he's everywhere. So you want to get that. But I'll be interviewing him tomorrow at 3, from 3 to 4 here on According to Akara. And we're going to discuss his love of music. If, if you have any questions you want to have for Johnny Rico, you want to get them here. You want to get them here. Yes, yes, yes. So 3 o'clock. I said 5 o'clock yesterday. I'll be going live on Instagram, and I'll be pre-recording it for YouTube. So, uh, so, so with that being said, let's, you know, just get this thing started here. So, um, I hope you all had a restful night's sleep. We made it. It's Friday. We made it, my dogs. We made it, my people. My people, we made it. Hello and good night. Okay? It is Friday. Tomorrow you get to sleep in for those who aren't working. Um, make your next thriller or, you know, whatever. Again, another Chris morning. I feel like this is October. What is going on here? This this is the way it used to be in the DMV uh, in September. We usually start a school right after Labor Day, the week in, the week after Labor Day, and we have all our cute new um, school clothes on. We done wore out our week's worth of school clothes the first week, first of all, and secondly, we had it was chilly enough that you can wear a jacket or a coat. On the way to school, but by the time you let out of school, you were um, it was too hot to wear that coat. So that's what this is reminding me of. I'm not sad about it by far. You know what I'm saying? I am not sad about it by far. But you know, it's just that's what it is, and I just, in my experience, it usually doesn't get this bad. It doesn't usually get this bad this early in the um, an autumn because it is is it even officially autumn? I don't even think it's officially autumn yet. Um, it's coming though. Let's look it up first. The first day of autumn. Oh, it is coming. Will be September twenty second. Will be the first day of autumn. That's a Thursday. So next week it'll be 
it will be uh, um on. So look out for that. So yeah, it's it's coming in early. So I'm wondering is are we gonna get some real serious cold? Are we gonna get snow this summer? I mean this winter? Or are we gonna have that Indian summer in December? We're gonna be celebrating Christmas and it'll be 70 degrees outside. You know what I'm saying? The summer gonna come back like I don't call it a comeback. <laughs> I've been here for years. You know what I'm saying? Are we going to have a return of the summer in December for Christmas? Are we going to be playing outside? We're supposed to have on sweaters, but we're going to be having on t-shirts and tank tops and shorts. I don't know. But right now, it had me pull out my hoodie. I don't have it on right now because I know that it's going to be cool now, and then it's going to be, you know, I'm going to be taking it off, so I have to wear a shirt that I can take my shirt off, you know, I can, I can wear once it starts getting warm outside. So I, I put on my hoodie. Those, who's gonna be, those who watch me on the morning ride is going to see my Washington, D.C. hoodie. Okay, hello, hello. So that part of it, it is definitely chilly outside. Whew. It, it and that's the other thing. It as it gets colder, it's not. It's easier for me to want to stay in the bed. But God must have known something because even now, even today, I got up a little early. I still got up in time to get up, get on here before seven thirty, and bring you the morning chat. So, um. To this morning, we're going to jump right on into the main topic. Let's talk about why, are you, what's the hubbub about um, <laughs> Okay, um, what's the hubbub about Haley Bailey playing Ariel in the live action movie? Everybody is talking about the hubbub around this whole thing, um, not feeling her being black. Um, I have only heard people say that people heard that they had a problem with Haley being black. And like I said in the interview on um, a friend of the 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 um, show on cooler minds and hotter heads, everything gonna be fine. Everybody, everything's gonna be fine. But I also want you to see things from a different point of view. Um. See it from the point of view of I'm I'm here I'm I'm gonna give you a different point of view. First of all, let me give you what I feel. One, I feel miss me with the bullshit, but white people. I'm just saying those who are white or those who just don't like the fact that Haley is a is the uh, Little Mermaid, and you're so used to her being yellow. Because she's a freaking cartoon. We were introduced to the Little Mermaid, Ariel, as a as the color yellow. She wasn't even white. Um. Oh, actually, my my bad. I pulled up a picture. She was she was beige okay she 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 looked a little more like i i, I kind of painted it like she was i thought someone said so you know she wasn't orange like everybody else okay she's a fictional character get over it i mean it is what it is sorry this time we're getting some representation just let us have it 
Okay, that's how I feel. White people, sit down. Sit down. Be humble. Sit down. Okay, just just have several several seats. People that don't like the whole thing. Okay, have several seats. You are acting like they have someone my complexion black playing area. And if they did, still have several seats. Haley is a very good fit to play Ariel. Okay? She has a beautiful voice. I heard her singing, you know, as a trailer, um, part of this world, whatever. And she sounded beautiful. Get over yourselves. Have several seats. Let us have this one. Let's have anyone that we choose to have. Sit down. Be quiet. Okay. As many characters that you all played, y'all played uh, um, black men, Asian men, Persian men, Middle Eastern men, and y'all put on blackface to be black. You tanned yourselves. Y'all had sit down when you had what's her name? Uh, not Zendaya. Um, the lady who played. Um, oh, she did a horrible job. She put. She was a light skinned black woman, but she was playing a dark skinned character. And y'all sit down. Y'all had a white woman playing Cleopatra. Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. Mm. Y'all had a white man playing Moses. A white man. And you get in your panties in a bunch over Ariel? Miss me. Okay. Now, let your auntie show you how they feel. Okay. Just a few months ago, we as a people... had was in an uproar over I believe over Robin has come out as bisexual. This count this was in twenty twenty one. Let me put on my glasses. Okay, so I can see. Robin has come out as bisexual in the latest Batman comic. And a little bit of everybody, especially the black community, has something to say about, come on, man, how you going to make him bisexual? Y'all gone too far when y'all are changing our characters that we've all, we never had... They never had a sexual connotation before. Now you want to give them a sexual connotation? He has come out as bisexual. We had something to say about that. So, the way white people feel about Ariel is the same way some of us felt about the LGBTQ making themselves, I mean, comic books coming out bisexual or gay. Um, 
we had, and I, I just was looking up comic book characters came out as gay. And, 20, and the first thing that came up on Google is in 2021, coincident to, co- coinciding with Infinity Frontier, several high profile male characters came out as LGBT in canon. The original Green Lantern, Alan Scott, came out to his children as gay. Oh, they're talking about the actual people who played them. But I'm talking about comic books where they have... That there was characters that all of a sudden is coming out as gay or lesbian or whatever the situation is. They had something where I think Superman's son was um, was gay. Um, yeah, Superman. In the pages of Superman, uh, son, Superman's son, Kal El. Coming out his no in November this November this is last early this year or last year I'm sorry November new the new Superman John John Kent J O N instead of Clark Clint comes out as bi. So we had a lot of stuff to say about characters. And um, that we always known as being straight or whatever, as being gay, when it wasn't obviously that they were gay. We assume we didn't even assume it. We didn't even put a sexual connotation to them growing up. I mean, who cared about Robin? He was. Batman sidekick. And people were coming up, but we felt some type of way when that happened. Okay. It's funny how when things start to happen and to us, we tend to we will complain about being alienated or not represented in in movies and TV and, and books and so on and so forth. And when we get representation, those who are used to a certain character refuting the change into something that they're not used to them being. You know what I'm saying? Um, As someone who don't necessarily like change unless I'm changing it, You know, I'm going to be unreal. Let's be real. Just like I will honestly say, I didn't necessarily like the changing of the Redskins name because I always grew up with the Washington Redskins. Okay. Washington Redskins. I never even saw it as offensive. Now, as an adult, with an education and and learning new things, I see how it is offensive. It's like calling them the Washington niggas. Okay. Or the Washington um, uh, porch monkeys. You understand what I'm saying? And then have a picture of a black man on their helmet or a black woman on their helmet sitting on the porch. You know, that's the equivalent of what we were saying. But still, even though with that understanding, I still didn't necessarily want to change the Redskins name because I was used to hearing the Redskins. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to sit my butt all the way down. Because it is offensive. So I'm just going to shut up and call them the Washington Commanders. They could have come up with a better name. But Washington Commanders, I'm going to stick beside them. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to stick beside them. 
side note, I wonder if the the natives, the indigenous people, would feel some type of way if they were a winning team. Nobody says nothing about being offensive uh, about the cowboys because the real cowboys were black. But again, we have been culturally appropriated and you we have turned them into John Wayne like he was really out there on a horse uh, um, herding cows and cattle. Who was out there in the sun all day herding them cows and cattle in the field. It wasn't no white man. Unless he didn't have no black person or person that is not a person of color because, you know, Asians were, came over here and was worked like slaves. Mm-hmm. Asians can, we they weren't stolen, but they would come over here and then get treated like crap. Yeah. Yeah. You know. But just be careful. I mean, because uh what's his name? Cruz came out saying let's not be reverse racism and y'all told him to set his black ass down. But cuz they're really you can't be racist. We cannot be racist, but we can be prejudiced and we can kind of operate like a racist people. When we complain about people bullying and not showing representation, you know, but when we finally get, get it, when we get it, you know, but we do the same thing to other people. We do the same thing to the LGBTQ. You say, well, we can't get, yeah, some of y'all wouldn't, if you knew that certain persons were gay at a certain time, you wouldn't hire them, even if they were black. Okay, now I can say the black community is a little more accepting of some of the people that are not being accepted, but we do it too. You can see it. You can see that the same way we felt like the LGBTQ seems to be coming in everywhere. Every time I turn around, I see a gay man in a show or a gay woman or lesbians. You got to introduce them. You got to introduce them. You're, You're getting, I'm tired every time. You know, I, I all I want to do is watch Madlock. Why Madlock got to be gay now? You know what I'm saying? All I want is da da da. All I want to watch is Judge Judy. Now we, she got a girlfriend. Why? Why we get that way? So the same way white people feel a certain way when their their characters that they're used to being a certain complexion when it changes. They're just people that don't like change. On a, on a lighter note. But they're going to get this change. Get used to it. Sit down. Be humble. Sit down. Okay? And just let us have this, people. Okay? You can't deny her beauty, her voice. Beauty and her voice. She's a perfect character for Ariel. Okay? Halle Bailey is a perfect choice of Ariel. Okay. And the same thing, and, and all I'm saying is black people, my black people. I did a funky Dineva there. I want to give credit to credit due when I do somebody. I copy someone's style. My black people, my black people keep that same energy when they want to change your favorite superhero into being a part of the LGBTQIA community. Mm -hmm. When you find out Wonder Woman is a lesbian. But in the canons of DC Comics, she didn't have a baby by Batman. So how's she going to be lesbian now? Keep that same energy, okay, when they want to make your favorite show introduce your favorite character in the show who you thought that was a man's man he comes out as a gay man okay keep that same energy okay keep that same energy that's all i'm saying and i think we will because again like i said the black community will 
tends to accept those people that not accept it more easily. But we have not been very welcome into the LGBTQIA community. And I need you to do the same, keep that same energy. I am not a part of the community, but I support them. They are a perfect example of how we do it. But the LGBTQ do the same thing. They do the same thing. They cry about being bullied and treated bad. But let somebody talk bad about the LGBTQ. They do the same thing. They bully and they treat that person like a, a redheaded stepchild. And end up, they even do worse. They get people fired for real. They get them canceled for real out in these streets. You've done, you're doing to other people, LGBTQIA people, okay? Y'all do the same thing. Well, the higher ups do the same thing. The, the regular one said, look, I, I don't like it. You, you talk to a regular LGBTQIA person, a regular, regular lesbian or gay man, and it's like, I don't agree with, I don't know who told you that we was offended about that. That's a lie. <laughs> well, I ain't offended about that. Whatever, do you? Why would I treat you the way you all treated us? You know what I'm saying? Y'all the same way. Just, just watch, you know, keep the same energy when it's when it's not you, when it's something that they're changing and they're representing a, 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 a community that you're not used to. My thing is, the only thing that I don't, I can kind of agree with is with those who don't want uh, uh, Haley Bailey is what was the motive of doing it? Were they just riding a wave of Black Lives Matter and putting black person in stuff to say, look, 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 I'm not, I'm not, I'm not against black people either. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We love black people. We include them in everything. We're Disney. You know what I'm saying? Even after years of Disney not giving us a princess until we got to the princess and the frog. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. You know, what was your motive? It's the same thing. You're riding away so that you can make a buck from that community. You know, it's the same thing with them adding, uh, uh, making um, characters gay in their movies now. Ariel, was she, she's going to go to the surface to see a girl? She's, now le she's not only black, but she's also a lesbian. Then we'll get upset. You know, what if she was black and lesbian? Well, we probably, we would have rooted her on. Because Haley is, she's a beautiful, talented young lady. I would have. I don't know about y'all. I can't speak for y'all. So that's all I have for y'all this morning. I will be on the um, morning ride recapping this today. My opinion about this today. And um, that's it. Y'all have a good Friday now. Let me get on out of here, put my, my shoes on so that I can somewhat be at work in a reasonable closest to on time as possible because again i'm not trying to be up in there at six o'clock okay i'm ready to start my weekend and then first will come it will start off of me getting home and getting my ass in the bed because i'm not sleepy yet i'm not sleepy no i might not i might be turned up nah. anyway i ain't doing nothing i ain't doing nothing this week I i'm going to be doing <laughs> I'll be recording the um, bedtime stories early. That's what I'm, I'm going to be working. I'm going to be preparing for my interview tomorrow. And then I'm going to have to, you know, Sunday is my, my, you know, my work week prep day, you know. So if I got food and meal prepping for the week, I'm washing clothes, I'm folding clothes, I'm retwisting my hair. I'm doing the whole thing on Sunday, you know, and going to church via stream. Anyway, I'll talk to y'all uh, Actually, I'll see y'all tomorrow right here at Instagram. You better show up. You better show up. And I'll see you all next week, YouTube. Talk to you later. Have a good one. Remember, love yourself. 
love your neighbors as they are fifty. Yeah. Yeah, baby.